So uh, my name is Abhijit. Um, I consider myself as a hands-on practitioner of analytics, especially worked in uh, retail areas, applied uh, statistics, optimization, and data mining techniques in uh, different retail functions like merchandising, marketing, store operation. I started working with uh, Target Corporation in 2007. Uh, I joined their India office in Bangalore, and then I worked uh, for three years in their Minneapolis office. Uh, after that, I came back to our India office and uh, spent two years leading the supply chain analytics team. Uh, I joined Landmark Groups in 2014. Uh, there I have started uh, with defining different proof of concept projects for retail analytics and now we have set up a 16 member analytics team which is working in different areas. Um, our journey started with uh, defining those proof of concept projects where we prove the value of analytics uh, in key functions like loyalty and uh, supply chain. Uh, this was mainly about influencing the senior management and helping them understand how they can leverage analytics in their day-to-day decision-making. Uh, then we moved on to the next phase where we started hiring analytics talent from different, different organizations who have used analytics in retail areas. And then we started developing algorithms which are to be used within operational systems or they can be used for a decision making. Now we are in a state where we have to improve the efficiency of our team and scale up the analytics to support all the business units which are different brands like Home Center, Splash, Max and then we can truly leverage the value of analytics for the whole group and use this specific function for our competitive advantage. The key challenges which we have faced in retail industry uh, are different across different regions. So if I look at the Western markets, the challenges are different, where analytics is a little bit more mature versus if I look at the emerging markets, the challenges are different. So now if we take example of the emerging market, the biggest challenge which we face here is influencing the senior management to understand the value of analytics. They have been, there, they have been doing their business for uh, long time and they do it based on their intuition, their MIS systems and their understanding of how industry is going to grow apart from any other aspects they look. Now this no new key element analytics comes into picture. We have to explain them how to leverage it and how to continuously use it in their day to day decision making. Now the big second biggest challenge which we face in emerging markets is influencing the middle management where we have to build the trust and partnership with them to develop customized solutions for analytics. These are the two big challenges we face from the cultural aspect of emerging markets and we are continuously working towards moving those hurdles and improving analytics in those areas. The first strategy I will suggest is to define a common purpose. For us, the common purpose was to leverage analytics for the whole business units across Landmark Group. Now, this common purpose binds us together. This helps us join our hands together and move in a common direction. Second strategy which I will suggest is to use each other's strengths and develop each other's opportunities. Now, everybody comes from different educational backgrounds, different experience, and they have strengths in different areas. In our 10-member team, we have tried to use these strengths across different projects and leverage them. Now in these projects, some team members also get the opportunity to develop, develop them and hone their skills in a new area. Now these two strategies has helped us to retain the talent which we have hired across last one and a half year. At Landmark Group, analytics helps us in three ways. The first thing which we try to do is deliver analytics solutions for any business problem. Now, the example of business problem is, should we move ahead and, and set up new stores in a specific market? Or it can be something like, should we set up a new warehouse to serve 20 stores in a specific cluster? In these business problems, we provide actionable insights to the key management and help them take the decisions. The second big area for analytics to add value in Landmark Group is to embed analytic algorithms in the operational systems. The operational systems are like our POS systems, our supply chain systems, 
our planning systems or our merchandising systems. These operation systems are used by different users in these functions and we embed analytical algorithms to either automate or provide intelligence at each step in these operational system. Now the third big area for analytics team in Landmark Group is to deliver self-serve tools to these business users. Self-serve tools help them create simulations to identify what is the best option in any tactical decision. For example, if I have to define a new campaign, what are the different types of campaign which have worked in past and how I can tweak a specific campaign from the past to a specific scenario which I am in and make a decision and design the campaign accordingly. So these are the three big areas in which we are adding value at Landmark Group from the analytics function. The first advice which I would like to give to the Middle Eastern companies is to define the objective and scope of analytics. Many a times we see different use cases across our own industry and see that analytics can be used for decision A, B, C and D. But most of the time the Pareto principle applies. Maybe decision A and decision B cover to the 80% of the business impact. So it makes sense to start with these two areas. So once we understand that these are the two areas which we need to start the analytics team and put the focus on, second most important thing is to review the data management practices. Now if without the data, analytics cannot function at all. So request all of us to review what type of data we save, is it clean, where it is stored, and how we can give access to the analytics team. Now third most important thing is to define what is the model. One type of model can be we have to set up an in-house team. Other type of model can be we have to outsource and partner with a strategic partner, a service delivery company, and then use their in-house delivery for our purposes. And third can be a hybrid model. So looking at these three options and whatever works best for the organization, the team can identify the roadmap and then progress towards it.